Hi, KCPS. Today, you're going to be working with me, Miss Dorsey, again, and we're going to be solving multi-step problems. Have you ever gotten to a word problem in math class and you can't just solve it with the information that's there? Sometimes you need to do more than one thing before you get to your answer, and that's what we're going to practice today. Come along with me and let's take a look at our problems. Let's take a look at our first problem. There are nine girls and four adults in Amy's scout troop. How much did the troop pay for tickets to the amusement park? Hmm. I know that this problem doesn't give me enough information to help solve that. But do you see something on the page that will help us? That's right. If you are talking about this data table here, you are on the right track. This data table is going to help us solve our problem and give us the necessary information to do all the math. Let's go back to our problem and look for some information that we're gonna need. Do you see anything that stands out at you? Absolutely, we need to know how many people there are. It says there are nine girls and four adults. Do you see anything else we'll need? That's right, the question is so important. We wanna know how much did the troop pay for tickets to the amusement park? Now that brings me back to our data table. If you look at the data table, there are three different plans. Now according to our problem, which plan are we going to use for our calculations? That's right, plan B, the amusement park, and that's right in the middle. So let's start working this problem out. I know that I have nine girls, And according to this table, each girl costs $30. Oops, not girls. I made a mistake. Let me erase that. Each girl costs $30. Now I also have another group of people that I need to account for, and that's the adults. There are four adults, and according to the data table, each one of the adult tickets cost $40. So that means that I have groups of tickets. Let's take a look at this. I have nine groups of how many? That's right, 30. And I can represent that as a multiplication problem. Nine groups of 30 is going to give me the total amount spent on the girls' tickets. I can solve this multiple ways. If I think back to number bonds, I know that there are three tens that make up 30. If three tens make up 30, I'm gonna represent it this way. 10 plus 10 plus 10 gets me 30. That means that I have to multiply this nine by each of those tens. So I have nine times 10 plus nine times 10 plus nine times 10. Nine times 10 is 90. And since the multiplication problem is the same, I know that I have 90 plus 90 plus 90. If I add that up, I get 270. So nine groups of 30 
gets me 270. I'm gonna notate that up here. The girls cost $270 for their tickets. Well, now I'm gonna go and solve for the adults. I'm gonna use the same method or strategy. I have four adults and each of the adult tickets cost $40. So I have four groups of 40. That's going to give me my total amount for the adults. I can do the same thing I did above and create a number bond for 40. If I wanna take out groups of 10, since those are easy to multiply by, how many groups of 10 are there in 40? 10, 20, 30, 40, there are four. So that means my number bond must have four pieces. So there are my tens. I know that each of these tens must be multiplied by four. So that's going to leave me with four times 10 plus four times 10 plus four times 10 plus four times 10. What is four groups of 10 or four times 10? It's right, it is 40. So I know I have 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40. If I add those together, that's going to give me my total. 40 plus 40 is 80. 80 plus 40 is 120. 120 plus 40 equals 160. That tells me that the cost for the adults equals $160. So now I have two amounts and I need to figure out how much money it costs total for the troop to go to the amusement park. What can I do with those two amounts to help me find my answer? That's right, I can add them. I'm going to add the total for the girls and the total for the adults. Now I wanna keep my work precise, so I'm gonna come up here to the top of my board and I'm gonna go ahead and add those. So I have $270 for the girls plus $160 for the adults. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus six is 13. I put my ones digit down and I carry my 10. Two plus one is three. Plus, what I carried is four, which really stands for 400. How much money did I spend, or I'm sorry, how much money did Amy's Scout Troop spend on the amusement park tickets? $430. So the answer to this problem is, Amy's Scout Troop spent $430 on the amusement park tickets. Great job. Now let's take a look at a different problem. Tina visited Funland with her mom and a friend. They bought tickets for Plan C. How much money did they save on the two children's tickets for Plan C instead of buying separate tickets for plan A and plan B. Hmm, there's a lot of information in this problem. Let's go back and take an additional look. So we know that Tina went with her mom and a friend. They bought tickets for plan C. The problem is asking something a little different than the first one. How much money did they save 
on two children's tickets for plan C instead of buying separate for A and B. So Tina went with her mom and a friend, one adult, two kids. In this problem, do I need to worry about the cost of the adult ticket? No, I do not. I am just going to be comparing the prices for two children's tickets. So let's start to set that up. So I know that I'm gonna have plan A, plan B, and plan C. And I have Tina and her friend. I'm gonna to need to figure out first how much money they spent on plan C for two children's tickets. So I'm gonna go back to my data table and take a look at plan C. According to the data table, how much is each child's ticket? $40. So for plan C, I know Tina's was $40 and the friend's was $40. If I want to know how much that was together, what am I going to do to those two amounts? That's right, I'm going to add them. So 40 plus 40 will give me $80. So they spent $80 for the two children's tickets under Plan C. Well, now let's figure out how much the tickets cost under each of the other plans. Go back to the data table. How much does each child ticket cost under plan A? $20, very good. So I know that Tina's ticket costs $20 and the friend's ticket also costs $20. How much is that all together? That's right, $40. So plan A costs $40 for two kids. Now finally, let's take a look at plan B. According to the data table, how much does each children's ticket cost? $30. Tina's ticket costs $30 and the friend's ticket costs $30. Altogether, how much money is that? Very good, $60. So let's go back to our question now that we know how much the tickets cost under each plan. How much money did they save? That's gonna be a key word. How much money did they save on the two children's tickets for plan C instead of buying separate tickets for plan A and B? Okay, well we know that plan C cost $80. We also know that plan A was $40 and plan B was $60. If I wanna know combined what plan A and plan B cost together, I need to add those two. 40 plus 60, plan A and B equals $40 plus $60, and that equals what? $100. Is that more or less than what they played, paid for plan C? That's right, that is less money. Well, let's figure out how much less, like the question asks. How am I going to do that? If you're thinking subtraction, you are right. If I know that plan A and B cost $100, and I only paid $80 under plan C, I'm gonna subtract them to find the difference. $100 minus $80 is what? $20. So that means that they saved 
$20. Holy cow, you guys worked so hard today. There were so many steps in these problems, but you persevered, you stayed with me, and we solved them. See, math isn't that hard when you stay organized, you go in order, you follow the steps, and you think about numbers. You can make anything make sense by just thinking about these numbers. Great job on these problems.